right, guys, you can see where we are right now. Jurassic Park, San Diego. A, a giant dinosaur battle in a little bit is gonna go down right here in this the small area. We're gonna have at least 10 to 15 dinosaurs, probably 15 because I, I'm gonna push it. We are gonna have 15 dinosaurs battling it out in this arena and it's gonna be the ultimate battle royale. But for now, we do have some things to do because well, before we can spawn some dinosaurs, we've gotta make some of these enclosures. For example, this bad boy and this thing right here, this is called a hatchery. So basically, you press this and you can create dinosaurs, brother. I don't know if y'all have ever played this game, but it's Jurassic World Evolution 2. Look how many dinosaurs you can actually make. And there's different DLCs that we can get to, but today we're just going with the dinosaurs that are already in. So in each of the hatcheries, they can hold about five dinosaur eggs. So we need about two more and then we'd be ready to rock. We're going to place one right there. And then the last one, I just kind of want them all close to each other. So there we go. All three hatcheries. And now we got to connect the pathways from here all the way to the road that's pretty much just right below it and there we go and then you connect these pathways all the way to this pathway there's a lot of pathways and needing to be made but it's pretty simple if you really think about it just don't think about it too much it doesn't have to look pretty all the dinosaurs are just going to be spawning and there we go all the hatcheries are connected and we can start growing some dinosaurs actually so for these five dinosaurs my first one is gonna have to be an endoraptor one of the strongest dinosaurs in this game i believe for our next dino i think we're gonna go indominus we got indominus rex here by the way from all the dinosaurs we end up picking today let me know who you think is gonna win in the end let's go ahead and get us a carno as well why not um for our fourth dinosaur a baryonic sure let's go ahead and make him as well and for our final one in this hatchery i'm just going to scroll all the way down and give me a t-rex because uh, why not so now you can see some of the eggs are ready for incubation all we got to do is press it and say select eggs and then begin the task and they'll begin to grow so i'm pretty much hatching dinosaurs to fight is it ethical nah is it going to be fun absolutely all right so while all of those eggs are incubating ready to be hatched and whatnot we're going to go to the next one who should we pick for this one though We've got Stegosaurus. That's actually a really good one to put in the Battle Royale. That tail that that bad boy has is lethal. Let's go the, the Sukamumus, whatever that one is. I, I forgot how to pronounce it, but that one's kind of lethal as well. We also have a Pentaceratops. Those are just kind of adorable. I don't want to put them in there. You know what? I'm going to throw a Spino in. Maybe we, maybe we put Penta in a little bit later, but we had to grab a Spinosaurus. And you know what? For our fourth one here... I'm just going to go Megalosaurus because I like his name. For the fifth one, I think we're going to go... We're going to go Dilophosaurus. Now, do I think he's going to really do anything in this battle? Probably not. But listen, he can, he can do something. And like I said, there's only going to be one of each species. Like, as you can see, when you click eggs, sometimes there's more than one egg. Like right here. I can spot a whole family of the Megalosaurus. But I'm just going to pick the strongest one for the battle royale. And he's just going to have to pray. Oh my, there was literally eight Dilophosauruses. That could have been absolutely insane. But there we go with all those. So they are ready to be transported, but we've got one more hatchery to go. Who do we get for our final five? I think we already have a Carno. This thing looks absolutely lethal, so I'm just going to spawn him. Even though he's only $75,000, he's probably going to die real quick. We're going to get, of course, a Giganotosaurus. I don't know why we haven't done that already. So we got the gig. Let's go ahead and grab us a... Uh, what about a Herrerasaurus? That, nah, that, that's not going to do it for us. I'm going to get this guy right here. Metric Contumac. I can't say his name. Just know that he's in the battle. We got two more spots to fill here before we start the battle. Let's go a Triceratops. You know why not? He's 175,000. And then for our last dinosaur here, I think I'm going to go with somebody that probably has no shot in this battle. I just want to see what he does. We've got the long neck fella. All right, so it does look like all of the eggs are ready to be transported. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Before we transport the, the dinosaurs to the battle arena, we got to close off the arena because I don't need them, you know, escaping. So we're going to put up a nice little electric fence right here. So now they literally can't go anywhere unless they go through these doors. I hope they can't escape through here. But here we go. I'm just going to pause the game so that none of them start delivering yet. And I'm just going to deliver all of them at the same time to the battle arena. That way, everybody basically just fights as soon as it happens. It's pretty cool, too, because you can literally transport them all through the air. So a helicopter is going to come over. Look, you can see this helicopter right here. He's going to pick up a dinosaur and he's going to, you know, do his thing, teleport it all the way here. Well, time out. I accidentally let the T-Rex go without being transported to the battle arena. So I've got to hit him with some trank darts. Okay, there he goes. He did pass out. Let me go ahead and get back to teleporting these guys. All right, here we go. It is game time. And as you can see, look at all of the blue smoke that's coming up. That's where all the dinosaurs are about to be transported to. As you can see, we already have one dinosaur in the battlefield. That's Mr. Indominus Rex. 
And all of these people right here, they're, they are so lucky. They're about to get a massive show. And by the way, for the battles, I, I think I'm taking off my face cam, bro. I want you all to be able to experience the full form of this giant battle royale. Let me go ahead and take this away. All right, and I'm gonna speed it up a little bit so that all the dinosaurs get transported here faster. As you can see, we do have a good amount of dinosaurs on the battlefield already. And as you can see, nobody's battling just yet. They're all kind of standing around waiting for something to happen. That's because I have battles off right now. But right when I turn them on, it is gonna be an all out dinosaur battle royale. So let's go ahead and check in with some of our competitors, shall we? We've got my man right here, Mr. Indominus Rex. Now, I really do think he's going to be in the battle for a long time. I honestly think he could win. But another one I think could do really good is right here. My boy Giganotosaurus. I think he could do really good in this battle, man. He could honestly win. And of course, you can't leave out the Tyrannosaurus Rex, brother. We got T-Rex right here. And like I said, let me know your all's picks in the comments. Who do you think is going to win our very first dinosaur battle royale? All right, there's our last dinosaur being transported in here. It's our long neck fella right here. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. He's probably not going to last long. He doesn't really do fighting much. But ladies and gentlemen, it is time to commence the battle. Who do you think is going to cause the first battle, actually? It'll tell us here very soon because it'll spawn like in the right-hand corner. Oh, look at the spinal already roaring at somebody. And we've got a lot of dinosaurs just kind of trotting around waiting for something to happen. Uh-oh. They're our first fight right here. Of course, it's with the Spinosaurus. And it's against this guy right here. I think it's the Zookamamas or whatever. So who do you... Oh, we have our first dead dinosaur? Wait a minute. How did this even happen? This thing has already died. Whoever this guy is? Yeah, well, he's dead. And then we've got my man Spino, who is... Oh, okay. He's getting a little injured. We've got a hunt going on. Indominus is over here hunting somebody. I don't really know who he's hunting at the moment. But somebody's probably going to die. If Indominus is hunting you... You probably don't have a very good chance to survive. I want to know what happened to this guy right here. Whatever guy, th this guy that's dead on the ground. I don't know what happened to him, but he lasted like no time at all. I, I didn't even see him get into a fight. Uh-oh, we got our next battle. And of course, it involves the, the same Indominus Rex. Did he just destroy that guy? Wait a minute. Who was this? It was the Megalosaurus. That man just got Megalodominated. Okay, so the Indominus Rex is already proving to be an absolute savage in this battle. And probably nothing that people want to mess with. For example, even the T-Rex right here doesn't want to fight Indominus Rex just yet. Uh-oh, another fight has just broken out between a Triceratops and the Stegosaurus over here. Oh, wait a minute. The Triceratops won? I didn't even see him swing yet. There's another hunt going on. It said that Indominus is hunting somebody right now. I don't really know who he's hunting. Maybe the long neck fella right here. Oh, no, he's roaring at him. Yep, my boy might be dying very shortly. You know what? Forget about that right now because we have a Baryonyx versus this man. And the Baryonyx definitely just won that. Okay, so Baryonyx got him a body. And we know for sure that Indominus has him one too. And then whoever, you know, destroyed this guy right here, he also has him a body. But I don't know who really did that. Let me know if your pick is still in the fight. We've got a T-Rex right here against this guy. I totally forgot who this is. Hold up. That is the Succamosaurus or Succamus or whatever his name is. I'm sorry for my fans of this guy out here. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Or you can call him such a Mimis or something like that. Oh my, the T-Rex is about to kill him, I think. Oh yeah, he just pinned him to the ground. And there you go. The T-Rex absolutely obliterated. And right after that, we got another fight between the Indoraptor and who? Wait a minute, this little guy? There ain't no way. Whoa, whoa, I just went all the way out. And yeah, I didn't even get to see it, but yeah, the Indoraptor definitely destroyed the Chungamosaurus, <laughs> whatever that guy's name is. Hey, don't sleep on the... Wait a minute. What just happened right here? It didn't even tell me anybody was fighting. It said fatally wounded by the Indominus Rex. Ooh. Okay, I mean, that does make sense. Meanwhile, Indominus is just, you know, casually taking him a nap. I wouldn't even be surprised if the next fight started with an Indominus Rex. This man has just been... Oh my... Look at the wounds calls to this dinosaur right here it has been insane oh ladies and gentlemen we have the spino versus the carno who do you guys think is gonna take this battle right here if i were to guess i mean i would obviously say spino but you know it could go either way maybe let's be real though the spinosaurus is oh definitely gonna win maybe not carno is putting up a very good battle here he has 63 health and the spino has 88 percent that is if i'm saying a number that just just think it's percent wait a minute carno's running away you know what to be honest with you i don't really blame him by the way how is this little guy still in the battle oh also when you see the dinosaurs running real fast that's me speeding up the game 
just until the next fight, which is right here. And that is the Indoraptor versus the Dilophosaurus. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I don't think the Dilophosaurus has any dog in this fight, to be real with you. I think this fight's gonna be very fast. Indoraptor in this game, it is very strong. They just they just stared each other down and then ran away. All right, well, that battle was a fail. Who is going to be our next battle? Clearly not the T-Rex or the Spino because they are both napping over here. Uh-oh. Indominus Rex versus a Triceratops. Oh, my. Okay, well, the Indominus Rex, I think, has three bodies to his name right now. He is destroying. So whoever at the beginning of this video picked the Indominus Rex, you, my friend, are in the lead. I mean, look at that roar. You are 1,000% in the lead. Uh-oh. We've got the battle of all battles here. It goes back, way back. We've got a T-Rex and a Spinosaurus. I know some people had to have picked at least one of these guys in the comments. I, I think more people would have picked Spino, to be honest with you. And, ooh, I think you would have been right, too. Oh, oh, hold up. Indominus Rex was trying to come get in the battle. Somebody has low health. And it's the T-Rex with under 50 HP. Okay, he did take off running, so he's alive for right now. But we have another battle between a Triceratops and who? Oh, we got the Carno. Carno's already been in one fight today. Oh, okay. Pushing back the Triceratops a little there. It looks like Endo in the background is being chased by some dinosaurs. But right now we're focusing on this fight. The Carno and the Triceratops. For me personally, I might be picking Triceratops. Just because of the horns, bro. I mean, oh, another battle. It is the Endoraptor and the Giganotosaurus. To be honest with you, I think the Giganotosaurus is going to go pretty far in this battle royale. So I'm going to go Giga in this battle. But honestly, bro, it could go either way. The Indoraptor, like I said before, is very strong in this game. And the Indoraptor has hit the Giganotosaurus one time, and he's done literally like 27 damage. Meanwhile, Giga has hit Endo one time, and he's only done 19 damage. So you can see the damage output is very, it's very different here. But it doesn't really matter. Oh, hold up. While they're fighting, we have another battle with the king of all dinosaurs in today's video. At least it has been so far. The Indominus Rex literally fighting somebody over top of the guy that he killed earlier. That is, that's evil. Wait a minute. If the Indominus Rex hits the Baryonyx one more time, he's 100% dead. And he's running. Okay, Baryonyx lives to see another fight. Bro, this Indominus Rex is so lethal. He's just getting everybody to, like, run away. And if they don't run away, they're pretty much dead. Like, all of these dinosaurs on the ground. Fast forwarding to the next fight here. Who do you guys think it's going to be? I'd like to see T-Rex versus Indominus Rex. That would be... I feel like that would be a pretty good fight. I'd still go Indominus Rex. But, you know, I would, like I said, I'd still like to see that fight. And we've got another battle between T-Rex and Spinosaurus. Okay. T-Rex already at 43 HP, though, and the Spino is still at 100. Oh, no. T-Rex is at 4%, and he's running. Okay, he is going to live to see another day once again. But literally, if one person were to try to attack the T-Rex, it would 100% cause a T-Rex death. Oh, look at this. We've got Indominus Rex versus a Baryonyx over here. To be honest with you, I don't think Baryonyx has any chance in this fight. But what is happening right now? They're kind of like sizing each other up. But, like, they're not at the same time. Indominus Rex is just, like, right on top of him. And here we go. He bit the he bit the Baryonyx one good time. And is he dead already? He went to sleep on him, too. Oh, that's evil. So the Indominus Rex destroys the Baryonyx and then goes to sleep over his body. That is some cheese. Hey, whoever picked Indominus Rex, you are looking crazy good, bro. Another battle here, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a Carno and a Spinosaurus. Now, the Carno picked this fight... And I think he was mad goofy for doing it. Because my boy has 60 HP, and the Spino has 88. Like, all the Spino has to do is bite him one more time, and it's over. But maybe something happens, and he gets to run away. Oh, he did hit the Spinosaurus again. So I think it's only right that the Spino... Are you kidding me? The Spino lets him get away. Uh-oh, here we go. Indominus versus the T-Rex. Just like I was saying it... Uh oh, um... Yeah, the, the T-Rex got absolutely destroyed. I think the Indominus Rex might be the strongest in this game. Today is the first day I'm playing this game, but I'm, I'm already seeing who's the strongest, at least out of the people we've been picking. Uh-oh, Dilophosaurus doing his thing. Okay, never mind. He's not doing his thing anymore. He is dead. By the way, I, I tried to make it a little more interesting, so I've turned starving things on. So now, if the dinosaurs want to eat when they need to eat, 
they have to start killing some dinosaurs. They can't be letting people live from now on. Let's see how many dinos we have left. It looks like we have one, two, three, four. We might have five dinosaurs left, and that's all. As you guys know, we started this battle royale with 15 dinosaurs. Now, there's only five left. Is your pick still alive? Like, did you pick Spino? Did you pick Carno? Oh, Carno's definitely dying. He already has 58 HP, and after that hit... He didn't even lose any HP. He just lost his entire career. Four dinosaurs remaining. We have the Spinosaurus right here being hunted, it looks like, by an Indoraptor. Then we have the Giganotosaurus, and surprisingly, we have a Triceratops. I thought he would have been dead by now. So is your pick still alive, and is your pick one of these two? Because it looks like we have a battle. Indominus Rex versus the Triceratops. Oh my gosh. By the way, that first hit that Indominus Rex just did, literally did over 30 damage it did 37 damage with one hit and then the, the bro that's not even fair the triceratops did 11 damage so really if my boy gets hit one more time i'm pretty sure indominus rex is going to be taking this home meanwhile the giga is just eating right in front of us and there it is the indominus rex destroys the triceratops right next to the giga and he's just staring them down. Like, yeah, that's right. And now he's eating the Triceratops. Hey, well, there's four dinosaurs remaining. They're all right here in front of us. It's the Indoraptor, Indominus Rex, Giga, and Spinosaurus. So who do you guys got? Let me know. We have another battle, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Spinosaurus and the Indoraptor. I will say, Indoraptor, I think I mentioned this earlier. He's very strong in this game, but I, I, I might have been mixing him up with the Indominus Rex. Because Indominus has been destroying literally everybody today. But at the same time, it's looking like the Indoraptor is fighting really good against the Spino. He's already at 50 HP. And if the Spino gets hunted down after this fight, it's going to be game over for him. Oh, well, Indoraptor let the Spinosaurus get away. And it looks like... Ind oh, wait a minute. Indominus Rex might be capitalizing on this. Hey, yo, wait a minute. What happened to the Giganotosaurus? I don't know when this man ended up dying, but oh, wait, maybe he's not dead. Oh, he's just sleeping. Never mind. He's not dead. Uh-oh, Indominus Rex and Indoraptor, the two strongest remaining in this battle, and they're fighting right now. I really thought this was going to be the last battle, but now that they're fighting, I think that Indominus Rex is going to win. And over here, you can see in the background, we have Spinosaurus and Giganotosaurus fight. Well, Indoraptor ended up escaping that fight, so let's just see who wins here. Already... That move from Giganotosaurus did 40 damage. So my boy Spino only has 60% of his health remaining, but he is putting up a good fight. He just did 27 damage or 17 damage. That is not going to be good enough for my boy. Oh, low health. Spinosaurus, if he gets hit one more time, he's going to win. Okay, he did dip from the fight again. But we have this fight starting up once again. And off the rip, my boy Indoraptor has 50 HP. All you have to do, Indominus Rex, is hit this man like two more times and the game's going to be over. By the way, you can see the people in the background right now clapping. I don't know how I feel about that. They're literally clapping for somebody dying at the moment. But, I mean, if you did pick Indominus Rex, I, I, you're probably clapping as well right now. Wait a minute, where are y'all going? How are you letting... Bro, why would you let him get away again? You know what? It doesn't even matter because, again, the Spinosaurus is low health. So all the Giganotosaurus has to do is hit him once. He's got 18 HP, and there we go. The Spinosaurus, as a, oh, I thought he was defeated. Never mind, now he's defeated. The Giganotosaurus just absolutely bodied the Spino. If you pick Spino, RIP, because now we have our top three. The Indoraptor, which is right here. The Giganotosaurus and Indominus Rex. Who do you guys think is taking home the gold? Hey, I can tell you one thing. If this man Indoraptor doesn't start healing fast, he's got 53%. And this battle between both of them just started. I don't... Oh, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think he's going to win this. And there you go. Indominus Rex absolutely obliterated his, like, maybe seventh person or seventh dinosaur. I don't know how many he's destroyed today. But we are on our final two dinos who are just taking a nap, getting their health up. We've got Giganotosaurus. And of course, you've seen this man take everybody out. We've got Indominus Rex. And here we go. The first fight between them. I don't know if we've even seen them fight once today. Indominus Rex versus the Gig. Who do you guys got? Let me know in the comments. At least you can pick a champion. You know what I'm saying? Let's see. How much damage have they done? Indominus has 83 health. Oh, and the Gig has low health. He's got 43 to 66 right now. Okay. 
He did run away, but that was only the first battle. They're gonna end up fighting again real soon. And you know what? I'm just gonna speed it up until it happens. Right now, Indominus Rex is just gonna chow on the Endoraptor. That's pretty gross. And now the Giganotosaurus is gonna munch on the Endoraptor. Bro, poor Endo, man. Uh-oh, the fight has begun once again. But the Giganotosaurus only got a little bit of his health back. You can see he's got 26 right now. And all he has to do is get hit one more time. That might be it. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first ever champion of the Dinosaur Battle Royales. It is my boy, Indominus Rex. I mean, look at the way this man's looking straight at you right now. Personally, I wouldn't want to fight this thing, and clearly, nobody else really should have either. So for now, our champion is just going to have to rest until the next Battle Royale. Let me know some other dinosaurs that you would like to see in the Jurassic Park Battle Royale. We could do a lot of dinosaurs. Maybe even next time we can have a water Battle Royale over here. We can get a bunch of like Megalodons, Moss, you know, a bunch of crazy aquatic characters. For right now, though, that is going to be it for the Battle Royale. I love you guys. Have a great day. A goodbye.